A critical threshold has been passed in the development process of Bayraktar Kizilma, which was developed nationally and originally by Baykar and will serve as the first unmanned fighter aircraft of our country. The first taxi test of the Kizilma Combat Unmanned Aircraft System was successfully carried out at Korlu Airport. A critical threshold has been passed in the development process of Bayraktar Kizilma, which was developed nationally and originally by Baykar and will serve as the first unmanned warplane of our country. The first engine integration test with Bayraktar Kizilma first prototype was successfully completed. Announcing the development on his official Twitter account, Baykar technology leader Selchik Bayraktar said, towards Kizilma. Bayraktar Kizilma has successfully completed its first engine integration test today. The testing process of Bayraktar Kizilma unmanned fighter plane project, which was developed with Baker's 20 years of deep technology accumulation and experience, will continue with ground tests. Bayraktar Kizilma first flight is planned to be carried out in 2023. Bayraktar Kizilma will be a platform that will revolutionize the battlefield with its landing and takeoff capability, especially for ships with short runways. Bayraktar Kizilma, which has been developed to have the ability to land and take off on short runway ships such as the TCG Anadolu ship, which Turkey has built and is currently conducting cruise tests, will play an important role in overseas missions thanks to this capability. With this ability, it will also take an active role in the protection of the Blue Homeland. Unlike unmanned aerial vehicles, Bayraktar Kiz, which can perform air-air combat like manned warplanes with aggressive maneuvers, will change the balance on the battlefield with this feature. The unmanned fighter aircraft, which is being developed by Turkish engineers and technicians with the experience gained from Bayraktar TB2 and Bayraktar Akinci, will also provide effectiveness against air targets with domestic air-air munitions. Answering the questions of GDH Digital at Technofest 2022, Baykar Technology Technical Manager Selchik Bayraktar informed that Ukraine continues to deliver the engines for the Kizilma Combat Unmanned Aircraft System despite the war. It is planned to use Ukrainian origin AI-25TLT and AI-322F turbofan engines in Kizilma. There will be three different engine options, one AI-25TLT, AI-322F or two AI-322F for different needs. A contract was signed with Ukraine for the supply of engines for Kizilma. It can be evaluated that the AI-25 TLT without afterburner developed over the AI-25 TL, which is used in L-39 Albatross trainer aircraft and can give approximately 16.9 knot of thrust, will have this thrust value at least. It is more likely to be used as a first phase motor due to its low cost, simplicity and thrust. The second engine option, the AI-322F with afterburner, Will be a much more compatible option for an aircraft with aggressive flight characteristics like the Kizilma. AI-322F, it can produce a maximum thrust of 24.5 knot without afterburner, 44.1 knot with afterburners and can operate up to Mach 1.6. The AI-322 is currently used in twin-engine Hongdu L-15 light attack aircraft. Alongside the single-engine configurations, there will be a twin-engine configuration equipped with two AI-322Fs for RED. Due to the higher thrust of the twin-engine configuration, it is likely to have a larger fuselage for greater internal weapon station volume and fuel capacity. The twin-engine Kizilma, which will be able to reach higher speeds and have a wider combat radius, will also have advantages in terms of survivability as it can continue to fly if one engine fails and the other engine works. Announced by Tay on June 10, 2022, TF-6000, which can give thrust of 26.7 knot and 44.5 knot with afterburner, has similar thrust values with its AI-322F turbofan engine with afterburner.